All right, to access ebooks through our databases, you want to start on our library homepage, um, which you can find through the college's homepage, or you could also Google it, just Rio Hondo College Library, and that'll take you to our website. But our URL is uh, riohondo.edu backslash library. And on our homepage, you want to click on articles and databases. And that will take you to our database page. And I will talk to you a little bit more about these databases in a different video. But right now we're looking at ebooks. So there are a couple of ebooks that you can access through here. The first one I want to point out to you is Gale ebooks. This is also called Gale Virtual Reference Library. That's its old name. Gale ebooks is the new name. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what this database is, is a database of encyclopedias um, and dictionaries. So it is a reference database. What this database is good for is to give you background information on your topic because the information is coming from encyclopedias mostly. So all of these are ebook versions of encyclopedias. And you'll notice that it's broken down by collections. These are all of the different collections you can browse through. And within each collection, there is a number of encyclopedias connected to that topic. The other thing you can do in the top search box here is just type in what you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and type in border wall. And you're going to notice that I get a drop down of different options that I can choose from if I want to. Uh, but none of those are really what I want. So I'm going to keep my border wall and I'm going to click the magnifying glass or I can also hit enter for that search. And what will happen is I'll get a list of results. Uh, 61 encyclopedias that have something to do with the border wall. Now it might not be highlighted here immediately in the results, but if I open up an article, so this one, for example, that says border fence, if I click on this within the article, you will see my search highlighted here in red. Okay. And this is why this article was given to me because it does mention the word border wall somewhere in the article. Okay. I'm going to go back and I can modify this search. I can change it to Mexico and U S border wall, let's say to be more specific. And it also gives me U.S. border with Mexico. I don't want that. So I'm going to go back to Mexico and U.S. border wall. I click my magnifying glass. And it will continue to try to give me based on the words that I typed in. So here I have nine results. Okay. So keep in mind border wall might be a little too general because there are borders all over the world. And so it might give me results for other countries. And I'll talk about that a little more with our databases. And so that's why I put in Mexico and U.S. border wall to try to give me a little bit more specific results. And so you'll see here, this does mention the U.S. Mexico border. And so that might be more helpful to me. Now, all of these articles are going to be really great for giving me background information on the topic. Um, especially historical events or historical stories related to this topic. Uh, you'll notice this is from 2009. This is from 2011. It also gives you how many pages this article is and the reading level. This is a level five. That's the most advanced. And it also tells you what type of article this is. This is a topic overview topic overview. So it's giving me a summary of the topic essentially. Uh, so this is not great for hard research. If you're looking for scholarly journal articles or something to cite in your paper, 
uh, only if you're referring to maybe a historical event or just some general background information, that's what these would be good for use. They do not give you any kind of opinion or try to persuade you in any way. It is just straight factual information. So if I click on this one, border fence, for example, uh, you will notice at the top is all of the pertinent information. So you have author, date of publication, the name of the encyclopedia, all the stuff kind of that we saw at the beginning listed right underneath the article title. And then you'll see in red the highlighted key terms based on what I typed in. And see here there's background, background information, supporters of border fencing, who supports it, who are the opponents. All of these articles coming from different encyclopedias are going to be different. They're all going to have different types of information within them. You'll notice on the right hand side there is explore so you could do more like this. So if you like this article, you want other articles like it, you can click on one of these. You can also jump around based on the content. I want to go to the opponents or I want to go to the conclusion. And then it also gives me some related subjects. So if any of these look like they might give me uh, really good background information on this topic, like Mexican American border region, I can click on this and it will take me to that list of results. Now, if you do want to save this information for yourself, uh, there are the tools right here next to the search bar. You can send it to yourself by clicking send to and you can select Google Drive OneDrive or email. With email, you would just type in your email address. This would be from you. The subject line has been filled in for you. This is the article title and it includes the full text, which should automatically include the citation because the citation is listed at the very bottom of the article right here. Okay. And by default, Gail uh, gives you MLA eighth. Okay. Now you always want to double check these citations. They are not hundred percent correct. So, you want to make sure that there are accuracies or inaccuracies. You need to make those changes. So for example, this author name should not be in all capitals that needs to be fixed. Okay. So don't just copy paste. You always want to double check it. You can also email it to yourself by clicking on this envelope located down here, and that will only bring up the email option to you to fill in. Google Drive is a really great option um, if you have a Google Drive account and use Google Drive. I'll show that with the databases demo that I'll be doing for you, uh, but this is a really good option if you like Google Drive. You can also download the article to your computer, to a flash drive. You can also print it, of course, and then if you only want the citation, you can click on Cite and here is the citation for you to copy paste, or you can also save it to your Google Drive if you wanted to do that. And that gives you the article as you see it here. Okay, let me go back to my results. And some filters for the Gale eBooks are over here on the right hand side. You can filter by subject so you'll see here some subject terms that you can search through. Uh, so if you want to get more specific with your topic, you can select what you want and click apply. You can also choose by document type. All of these appear to be topic overview, but if there are other options, you can select those. Uh, language. These are all in English, which is great. But if for some reason there are other languages, you can make your selection. And then content level is by reading difficulty. Level five is the highest level of reading, the highest academic. It's typically college level reading and then goes progressively easier to level one. Okay. And that's essentially Gale eBooks. And now I'm going to show you the EBSCO eBook collection. 
Okay, so I'm back on my database page and the other database I want to show you that has ebooks is the EBSCO ebook collection. Go ahead and click on that. Now we already saw this database uh, when we were looking through the catalog and in the catalog when looking at my results and I clicked on available online, it told me that this ebook was through EBSCO and that's what I clicked on to open. So of course you can access the ebooks through our catalog. You might want to go directly through this EBSCO database from here because sometimes some of the ebook titles don't show up in our catalog that do exist here. And so you might want to try searching directly through here. Also really important to note is that this database only has ebooks. That's why it's called the ebook collection through EBSCOhost. This is not our research database, which I'll be covering with you at a different session. So with here, you're going to notice these are all ebooks. Um, they are organized by categories. They also have featured ebooks and highlights, but you can also type in by search terms, keywords. So I'm just going to do border wall and I'm going to click search or hit enter and that will give me a list of results. So as I mentioned previously, uh, you can open the ebook by clicking on PDF or clicking on the EPUB to see the book. And this is going to look, this is already in use, so let me look at another one. This is going to look just like the demo I showed you earlier. Um, and all of the same tools are in place where you can jump around from section to section, chapter to chapter. Uh, you can save pages, you can email pages, print pages, the citation button, all of that stuff uh, is the same here. The only difference is that you can see the full list of ebooks that EBSCO offers based on your keyword search. It also has options here. Before you open up the book, you can click on this table of contents drop down and kind of see what the book is about before deciding to open it. And also here are some relevant pages or the most relevant pages from this ebook. You can also get a summary of the ebook through this interface by hovering over the magnifying glass and that will give you an abstract and you can read a little summary about the book to see if this is a book you want to open and read more about. There are also some filters on the left hand side and I'll go over the filters for EBSCO a little more in depth when we go into our research. Um, but for the books, you do have some options here. You could make sure that you are only getting the PDF full text from the ebooks by clicking on this button. That means if you are for some reason only getting a title of a book but not the actual book, clicking this will make sure that you get the actual book and eliminate titles only. You can also select year of publication. So this shows that these books are all published from 2012 to 2019. So if you want something only, let's say 2015 to 2019, it'll get rid of those other eBooks. You can also narrow down by subject. So there is one book that refers to belonging or social psychology. There is one book that deals with border security, two that deal with emigration and immigration. So you can select which ones you want and it'll get rid of the other books. And you can also select by language. These are all in English, which is great, but sometimes other languages do appear here and you can select the language that you want. So those are some of the benefits to using the EBSCO interface as opposed to our catalog is you do have a little more um, options and flexibility with looking through the results and what you're looking for as far as an ebook goes. And that's pretty much it for ebooks.